Hello YouTube, um, this is Liberty again. Um, today we're going to be, I'll be teaching you how to drop a shadow on GIMP um, 2.6. So let's, let's open up GIMP. Um, this is going to be quite a short video because, you know, it's not that complicated to drop a shadow. So let's open GIMP here. Let's get my toolbox. Already opened a, opened a file of any size. Um, I'm just going to delete delete my background. I don't need it. Okay, so let's open any 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 image. Um, in, you see GIMP is used a lot for InVue editing, you know, for InVue avatars. That's what I use GIMP for mostly. So I'm just going to pick a random screeny. Sorry about the sorry about the whiteness is for a edit. Okay, let's just decrease the size a bit. Let's bring this into range. Okay, so by the way, if you're curious, if you like the, the top I'm wearing here, it's by Barack. Barack on Invu, and the hair is by White Selkie. And the skin, I think, is by the Gangsta Muffin. She's amazing at skins. And, you know, if you're an Imvu and you model quite often, you would know just how amazing Barack is. Anyways, off topic, let's just, um, what, what, you're gonna, what, you wanna, what you wanna do is you wanna hit filters and light and shadow and drop shadow. And this is the settings. So you can play around with this. You can change the opacity usually I go 100 you can change the offset usually going anything over 12 is I usually don't do it so let's go um, yeah 8 is good as well you can change the blur radius so if you want 15 you hit OK it drops the it's not the blur is not that large so let's control this and do it if you increase the blur by let's say 25 you'll see the difference the blur it the color is not as sharp but the blur is much it's much wider what else you can do is you can also decrease the offset reduce the blur radius to about 10 when you hit OK it just gives it the extremely thin layer of, of shadow outside outside the avatar or the image and I actually really like this. So you can see the difference. This is the the version with and this is without. And it really helps it stand out from the from the background. What else you can also do is you can also increase the blur radius by quite a bit. So you get kind of like this this fogginess outside, which I also really like. So what I use this for is let's see, let's command X this. make this white and command L new layer background so let's see if you're if you're doing some sort of of an edit for for some let's see uh, you can perhaps do an edit for a group for an agency for an invu you can just you can just open the image here oh gosh I'm so sorry control Z V and select and you can go filters top shadow so 30 15 and you can do something like this as well. This looks pretty cool, you know, if you have the layering right. And after this, you just kind of gives this um, sort of mystical, mysterious kind of effect. Obviously, I'm not doing it properly right now, but it's something that you can really think about when you're trying to be creative. And you can also add more avatars supposedly here, here, get some different colors in, make a really cool background. You know, it's just about being creative on GIMP, and I think you can do a lot of things with any type of tool or application. So it's quite simple. Let's um, let's review. 
um, file, open as layer, you can open your image, sign, scale it to whatever you'd like to fit. Again, top is by Barack, skin is by the Gangsta Muffin, and the hair is by the White Selkie. And let's go filters, light and shadow, drop shadow. You can change the offset, the blur radius, the color. Let's change the color to like a red. And you can change the opacity. So let's decrease the opacity to about 62. If you want to allow resizing, which means the resizing of the shadow, you can, but I'd rather not. So OK. And you have this red glow. So that's very simple, how to drop a shadow on GIMP 2.6. Thank you for watching. Rate, comment, or subscribe. I really need your feedback. Bye-bye.